Ladies and gentlemen, today is Monday morning and that means we have a transfer for Mr. Drew over at Scottsdale. So we're going to surprise you guys, bless you guys with his presence and show you guys what a transfer is going to look like. We got a bunch of new balances and 550s to stock them up on those. I always got to load up on the slides and 350s. Home runners. Uh, pretty much full size run of AMA 4s, Dodger dunk, a couple different types of dunks. Whatever Drew wants is yeah. what he's going to get. What Drew wants, Drew gets. We'll go through some of them when we actually pull up. But yeah, this is how the process goes. We're going to load them up, take them over to him, bring them to him right on a silver platter just how he likes it. And uh, that way he has some stuff to sell through. So we're going to go visit Drew right now. Let's go check out what he's doing. All right, Drew, how are we feeling on the inventory? Right? Not too bad. I still need a lot more. Wow. I know you need these. Yeah, I need a lot more than the one pair we have. <laughs> but hey, listen. Trying to recover after the holiday season. It was really busy with Scott still move a lot more pairs than we ever have. So we just got to restock now. Everything moved. Military blacks, black and white dunks, olive dunks, triple pinks. Bapes does? Bapes does. Oh, it's on the purple slate. Oh. Brand's been getting down on the Bapes's, bro. Purple, I've never even seen the purple suede. I really like the white and purple ones. Just the leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those the black cool. and gray suede are pretty valuable. Bro. Everyone picks this shoe up, dude. Everybody, but no one buys them. We do a lot of people buy them, but like, not everybody, like, the amount of people that pick it up should be, they should be selling more. Yeah. You know? We tax them or what? I mean, the Bapes and retail's pretty high, to be honest with you. We're not taxing. No, we're really we not taxing. We can't find Bapes's anywhere. We're the only store that has Bapes's. So what do we do? We're putting them in size order? Yep. Putting everything in size order, everything that has a dot goes out on the floor and then everything that doesn't goes in the back room. There's a lot of pairs, but we need more. And by the way, you guys miss me. You guys will be seeing a lot more of me because I'll be traveling again this year with the boys. Who will? We got a God Soul coming up, but first, even this weekend, we're going to LA. Uh, January 8th, 6 o'clock, Crypto Arena. We're going to the Atlanta Hawks Clippers game. You guys can actually get a chance to come pull up on us and hang out with us at the game. Uh, we're actually doing a collaboration with 24 Ball, us, and a couple other people, influencers will be there. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a big deal. It's gonna be sick. It'll be a little panel, it'll be a little mixer before the game, and then we have a all free throw contest at halftime, oh, I think. Oh yeah, and you gotta step out. Yeah, you gotta bring the kicks though, but you guys can actually get tickets, discounted tickets to that game. First 500 people will receive um, something there's a flyer on the screen right now and i'll leave a link down to get grab your tickets if you guys are in la want to kick it with us at the atlanta hawks clippers game this weekend a little network yeah event, you know, actually first say. first 500 people actually get access to like the rooftop mixer oh that's which is on. pretty sick but so yeah discounted like, tickets to the game come pull up on us really pulling up to la just for i think papa q's pulling up really yeah, papa q yeah, is papa pulling, q's up. pulling up i mean it's gonna be a nice little crowd so come pull up network with us january 8th and then i'll see you guys in uh new york i also get to the good get to go to a game in new york Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to that one. That one is not sponsored by Common Hype. Yeah, I got that one. That one's sponsored, but not by Common Hype. Shout out to the Portable. All right, a little update. So we got through the holidays pretty good. It was actually really good. A little too busy. So a little too, yeah. too busy, all right? <laughs> but other than that, it was pretty good. We all we also accomplished what we want to accomplish, being in an actual fishbowl. So if you guys see, we'll change the scenery here. We got this big white barrier here. The mall literally forced us to redo the outside because they didn't like the white tile right here. So they're making us put this black tile. Which does, it looks it's not good. nearly as good. No, it looks it weird. It looks worse. And then they're making us keep the red. Like, yeah, this wasn't our, uh, this wasn't our first choice. Hey. Kind of got forced into this, but. I don't and we had to pay for it. They yeah, didn't I don't, pay for it. Pay for it. I mean, look at, let's go out there though. It, it really, really obstructs higher view of the store like you can't walk past our store and see in it's just a white wall no windows i literally told him imagine if we didn't have a giant white wall up over the holidays oh it would have been it would have been in, even more insane it's always something and the it leaks sucks. it's yeah well it sucks too because everyone is like are you guys just a pop-up shop like people didn't realize an actual store because it just looks mad weird it's just a white wall yeah also had a leak over the weekend there's now a leak in the storage room Yep, there was a leak on the floor. We had to take off all the Yeezys and like the whole corner of the store for like three days while I was gone. Which was awesome. Yeah, and we have to move our storage unit in two weeks. Again, sick. again for the third time. So it's sick. I'm outside asking for Lost and Founds at their grand opening because JD just opened up a, a headquarters here in Scottsdale. Anyways, I was offering people prices right outside JD. Nobody was taking it. It was like, I'm holding it, I'm holding it. I was paying top dollar. Now everybody wants to sell back to me. Four pairs is cool. Two tens and two left. These are all retail? Yeah. What are you doing? How to check lots and founds. Make sure there's no mold. Step one. Step two. Smell it. Step three. Make sure the lid's good. Step four. 
squeeze it. Make sure you can't squeeze that thing. Set five, YDM sticker. Make sure it's got lines going through it. Super, super bolts. You just gotta be sure that you know what kind of YDM sticker you're looking at. What step are we on? Five, six. Check the box label. Make sure it's got the right font. Make sure you can see there's a white under underneath. If you use a black light, I need a black light. Me too, man. If I had a superpower, it would be to have like an infrared black light built into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so I could just legit check shoes without a black light. I don't know what step we're on, but step five or six, click the show the black light. You should see this white underneath the actual box tag. That's usually a good sign. Step seven, make sure it's got two sale stickers. Fakes may not only have one of those sale stickers. Make sure you got the stamp code in there as well. Check the paper, make sure the paper feels like actual nice box paper. Fakes, you'll see some cheaper quality paper. Also, Lost and Found's authentic pairs come with double laces as well as paper insoles. They do not come with regular shoe tree insoles. Check the Jordan logo here, make sure that it looks okay. Some pairs will differentiate between the cracking. Some pairs will be more cracked, other pairs will be less cracked. It seems to us like the bigger sizes of Lost and Found's tend to be more cracked than the smaller sizes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Would you check in with Nate? How many steps is that? It was like nine steps, eight steps? I don't know, eight, nine steps, something like that. Oh, obviously, step 10, inside tag. Sorry, I forgot. Inside tag, we'll show you if it's basically real or not, just off the rip. So yeah, see so yeah, how that Jordan's kind of stuck? Make sure it's not actually stuck to the midsole right here and it's actually tapered to that black stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry, step 12. Make sure this is the right color. Make sure it's the right paper feel. This that, that receipt will tell you if they're not authentic as well. And step 13, always ask where they got them from. Oftentimes, they say they got them from StockX or don't. Make them show you the receipt on their phone, on their actual phone, not receipts. a screenshot. Yeah, exactly. If they don't want to show you it or they're unwilling or they obviously they all of a sudden don't have it, it's not a good sign. Oh, You hit on sneakers? Like, yeah, yeah. Can I, can I have the receipt? Oh, well the thing is it was my friend's mom's sneakers. <laughs> you got the receipt from her? Oh, well, I don't really talk to him much anymore. She's actually at a dentist appointment. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I need the cash right now, bro. So it's like, you either take him right now or I got to flake on the deal. Tim, you sense urgency from him? It's not a good sign. Either. All right. What'd you get, man? All right, boys. Uh, Hayden just walked into my office while I was editing and uh, told me I got a special package. This is pretty sick. Uh, an artist sent me a piece of art. Uh, he's from Puerto Rico. This thing came from overseas. Art is not what you see, but what you make others see. So it's pretty sick, man. I also got a note, and this is like the actual painting itself. Put it on like a nice canvas. Sweet Ambition 10, I believe this is IG. You guys can see it right there. Go show him some love. Really appreciate it, it's pretty sick. They, he wrote me a note, so I, I gotta read it. Hey guys, my name is Angel. I'm an artist from Puerto Rico, and my brand's name is Sweet Ambition. I wanted to gift you guys a custom piece of art. I'm a big fan of your videos and honestly the chemistry between all of you. Most of my art are made watching your videos, so thank you. If you guys ever want a bigger piece for any of your stores or personal, let me know, I got you. Angel, sweet ambition, really appreciate that, man. Really cool to get a piece like this and uh, I appreciate you shipping it um, all the way across the world to get it here, so we really appreciate it. Um, it's really sick, you guys will be seeing it somewhere. I gotta put it in the crib or somewhere in the office, I'm not sure yet, but I'll definitely find a place for it. Uh, thank you for thinking of us, really appreciate that, bro. All right, so first unboxing, we'll change scenery, we're in the podcast room, but this person shipped it like this but in a box though, right all right well there's no damage to the box so that's okay uh, anyway size 11 lost and found one of our top selling shoes these past 30 days can't keep them in stock they seem to just be going up you know maybe i give some investment advice starting up again here in early 23 for the youtubers let me know comment down below if you guys want more investment advice i've got a lot of shoes i'm i'm looking at currently you guys know good chef gets all the info first but I then after I give the info to the YouTube and uh, hopefully you guys are able to make some money off that too. So yeah, let me know if you guys want some more investment advice and I'll definitely try and do my best to oblige. Size 11, Travis Phantom. I'm not gonna open this up because it kind of makes a mess, but this is a shoe that personally, if you want a little bit of quick investment advice, I'm not huge on buying these right now. I don't think it's the right time. We're getting to the slow season. Um, as much as this shoe will go up in value over time and it's the last Travis that's gonna officially release besides the olives. So I should say one of the last Travis's to release. I just don't really see a huge amount of price volatility trending upwards anytime soon. That's just my opinion though. You can agree with that, you can disagree with that. Not financial advice. Yeah, not financial advice. Three other packages with this, but I don't know where they are. So we're gonna move on. Next up, we've got some silver birch, new balances. 
size seven women's. These have been selling extremely well for us, so we've got to keep picking them up. Really good shoe, neutral color for the ladies. Next up, we've got a single pair of black and white dunks, size 11, still the best selling shoe for us out of every single sneaker that we have, so we can just never go wrong with these. So I got a size 11, ready to go right here. We even got the undefeated retail tag on them. More pandas, pandemonium. Let's see. From Jose, thank you for all the deals. I've done a lot of deals with Jose. Bought a few pairs of Campus 4s off him. And if you guys have been watching the channel for the past three months, I've been telling you guys that between this shoe, Midnight Navy 4s, Military 4s, these and the Military 4s have the best chance to hit the highest price first. We saw Midnight Navy's kind of creep up to 330 a little bit, and then now they're kind of finally settling back down. Again, Navy's hard to wear, whereas Black Canvas, all black shoe, just really easy to wear, kind of like the military blacks are. Really neutral, you can kind of wear them with whatever. That's what people enjoy wearing, and if they enjoy wearing it, guess what? The more people who wear the shoes, the less brand new pairs on the market there are, which means the price of the brand new pairs goes up. It's called Economics 101. Yeah, I really like black canvases. They actually didn't really sell well for us as soon as they first released, but uh, going into the holiday season, man, these things, yeah, I feel like those things weren't moving for you. No, they weren't, but now they are. Anyways, got another package. Looks like a Cherry 11. Yeah, these have been okay for us. I wouldn't say anything crazy by any means, but you Cherries. guys have seen this shoe before. Size 11, the bigger sizes are gonna do good. These will follow the cool gray price action with the smaller sizes being pretty low for a while. Big sizes will stay pretty low. Um, and again, 11s, as we've seen in the past, it takes a long, long time for those things to go up. I highly advise you do not buy them or invest in them. Um, obviously buy them if you like the shoe and you wanna wear the shoe, but if you are looking to invest, we have about like 20% of our audience who watches our videos are like looking at, for investment advice. So if you're looking to invest, don't invest in Cherry 11s right now. Really excellent packaging though. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get this out. Oh, wow. No Fantastic job, man. Fantastic. Oh, I know who sent these, Eric. Shout out my boy, Big Feet Heat. Got a size nine Fire Red. I'm also getting a few more packages from him, but some nice thick bubble wrap -y. I don't think Eric watches the channel. In case you are, man, that's some, nice, that's some good stuff, man. That's some good stuff. Got a few more packages coming from him later this week as well. That's just fantastic stuff, guys. You get this thick bubble wrap, you're onto something. If you guys get packages from us, we use bubble wrap as well. It's just a little bit of a thinner, but we, we put some layers on it. That thick bubble wrap maybe maybe the next thing. Valerian Blues, size 13. And we've also got a pair of Argon Dunks, size 12. Yeah, bought these from Eric as well. <sighs> so many boxes. Yeah, it's a big unboxing I today. I know. Soon I'm gonna be behind there. They're just gonna be handing me packages. I'm just gonna be <laughs> 9W, Olive Dunk, one of our best selling ladies dunks. The past 60 days, size nine women's. I wish that shoe goes down. I think it's just getting too expensive, but uh. Olive Dunk, huh? These are all like 250 right now. Holy moly. Yeah, that's what I'm all right, my boy Ali. Ali. He sells to us all the time, too. Got a couple things from him, including uh, 4Y, black and white, 5Y, GS canvas right there. Shout out to him for that. We haven't even got some good stuff yet. No, there's some good stuff. Man. Okay. Yeah, so this is, uh, ooh, this is a different PO. Damn, this guy had heat. Size 12 Phantom. We've got size 12, literally all from his sneakers account. This guy's goaded. Size 12 lost and found. I mean, his sneakers account is goaded. At this point, I'm gonna start buying some of your guys' sneakers accounts because you guys have some crazy stuff. And then a 12 reverse mocha. It's a pretty nice PO right there, man. Where does this rank right? on your top? This? this? Yeah. Um, honestly, one of my least favorites with the Phantom. Then starting out the YouTube, ch YouTube channel with the most terrible takes of 20. No, 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 no. Hear me out, guys. The frag is number one. Fraggy's number one, and then the other one. The olives? No, no, the one that Bry has. Oh, the mochas. Yeah, yeah, the mocha ones. OG mochas. Second, okay. that's second. Third, reverse mocha, fourth, phantoms. Can't wear the phantoms. That's pretty bold, man. What, what are you gonna wear with the phantoms? Gosh, this is a lot of shoes. All right, next up, we've got more pandas. Gosh, um, just look in there, more pandas. I'm just gonna leave that box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't wanna get it disorganized, but yeah, more pandas. Shout out to my guy for that. I think in this box, even more pandas. Pandas, lost and founds, Amaz, size 12, military black, size 12. Um, I still gotta get through the rest of these, so I'm not gonna go crazy in those, but yeah. I would open this one, actually, because I think this one. Oh. I know what that is. Yeah, so cool one. One of my guys hit me up. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, it looks like that. Yeah, pretty happy about this. One. This one's cool. Marvel. This is Venom, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, cool. Or like, yeah, cause look, they got a little. Gosh, imagine taking a picture with the Venom babe still with next to the Venom bear. Got it. Got to get that. These are all all of Dunks. Yeah, all. Back rib. Yeah. 
all triple pinks, all of dunks, paisley packs, um, and black and white. You guys have seen most of these, so I'm not gonna, plus I'm not tall enough to reach that high. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes. Of? Can you guess what they are? Da -da -da -da. Comment down below. If you guess I am Williamson, Voodoo Lowe's, my friends, you are correct. How about a 50 clip? Straight to the dome of Voodoo's. Sizes 7 through 15. I got one for your girl, and I got one for you. All, all you athlete kings, I've got your size. CommonHype.com. Peep the website. The people have asked, our number one most requested shoe has been Zion's, and we sell out of them like crazy, so. I can make an investment call on these, but I'm not going to this video, but you'll see. Future videos. Maybe future video. Yeah. Do I think they're going to go down? Do I think they're going to go up? Good Chefs knows. Join Good Chefs. That's all I got to say. Other than that, see you later. I need to get uh, some rejuvenator on my feet and it looks like Ben does as well yeah check so I gotta these clean out. these babies up and I also gotta clean this podcast room anyways thanks for tuning in guys hope you guys enjoyed the unboxings if you see anything you like be sure to hit the website commonhype.com we'll see you in the next video